Now let's do some math with in electrochemistry and we will be learning about free energy, uh, equilibrium constant and cell potential and how each one of them is related to each other. Delta G is related to the E cell as uh, delta G equals nine, uh, minus uh, NF E cell and at standard condition it is delta G0 equals minus NF E0 cell and delta G as we know is already related to the equilibrium constant as minus RT ln K. So combining the two, you will get an equation for E cell and K. And when you substitute the values for R, T at standard condition and Faraday, the and converting the ln to LOG, I can write E0 cell as 0 0.0592 volts divided by N, where N is the number of electrons, log K. Calculate E0 for a cell that has the following reaction. Delta G0 is given and one Faraday, the value of one Faraday is also given. The equation we will be using will be delta G0 equals minus NF E0 cell. So to calculate the E0 cell, delta G0 is given, F is given, we need to get the value of N. So to get N, let's separate the equations into two half equations. A uh, gets oxidized to A2 plus and B3 plus gets reduced to B. To balance the electron, multiply the first equation by 3, the second equation by 2. So the number of electrons that gets exchanged is equal to 6. Therefore, with n is equal to 6, substitute all the values into the equation given over there. And uh, when you calculate the value of E, I get it as 1.53 volts. But be careful that the value of delta G should be uh, converted into uh, joules. The va and therefore multiply the given value by 1000. Calculate delta G0 for the cell. Faraday's value is given and the cell given is cadmium and copper. And uh, in order to calculate delta G0, the equation we are going to use will be delta G0 equals minus NF E0 cell. So, if I could get the value of uh, cell potential, I will be able to get the value of delta G0. So, for the given cell, you know that the left hand side is the anode and the right hand side is the cathode. Calculate the E cell using the formula E cathode minus E anode. Get the values from the table and I get the value of the cell as 0 0.74 volts. And uh, in order to calculate the delta G0, I need to know the number of electrons. And in this case, without writing the equation, I can see that the charge is 2 plus. Therefore, the electron transfer that has taken place should be 2. Therefore, the value of n is 2. Substitute all the values. And I get the value of delta G0. And the unit is joules per mole divided by 1000 to get the unit in kilojoules. Calculate delta G0 per cell that has the following reaction. And you see that lead solid is reacting with lead oxide solid in the presence of sulfuric acid. And the E0 cell is given and the value of Faraday is given. So before we start, we should know the half reactions and we should know what is getting oxidized and what is getting reduced. So looking at the oxidation states, we realize that PB solid is getting converted to PBSO4 and the oxidation state of lead changes from 0 to 2 plus. And the PbO2 gets converted into PbSO4 again and the oxidation state of lead changes from positive 4 to 2 plus. And uh, the other reaction in which the sulfuric acid becoming uh, PbSO4 or water, if you look at it, the oxidation uh, state of sulfur uh, is not changing, oxidation state of hydrogen is not changing, neither the oxidation state of oxygen is changing. Therefore, the two main reactions are the uh, PB giving PBSO4 and PBO2 becoming PBSO4. And from the charges on the ions, we can see that the number of electrons that get exchanged is 2. So, with uh, the number of electrons as 2, substitute all the values into the equation and we get the value of delta G0. The value of K is 1.17 into the power of 5. And uh, you have to calculate the E cell for the cell that has the following reaction. So we need to use the equation that connects E cell and uh, the equilibrium constant. And we need to know the 
number of electrons. So from the equation, the charge of 2 plus and 2 plus, we know that the electron transfer should have been 2, and therefore n is equal to 2. Substitute all the values into the equation and get the value of E set. And that comes as 0 0.15. Calculate the equilibrium constant for the cell reaction at 25 degrees Celsius. Cadmium ion reacts with zinc to give you zinc ion plus cadmium. The first step we have to do is to identify the anode and the cathode. And when you separate them into the half reaction, we realize zinc becomes zinc ions and cadmium ion is becoming cadmium. Therefore, zinc is getting oxidized and cadmium is getting reduced. So, therefore, get the values of reduction potential from the uh, uh, get the values of reduction potential from the table, and then uh, calculate the E cell using cathode minus anode, and I get the value of E cell is 0.36, and the number of electron transfer is two, and hence uh, substitute the values into the equation, uh, which relates uh, E cell and K, and then I get the value of K as 1.5 10 to the power of 12.